Hey guys, welcome back. Another beautiful day here on uh, Najwan Farms. So we are walking into uh, the grain field here and we're just giving her a kind of a once over here, checking her out. Uh, I think you guys will be surprised from uh, when you guys seen it last. The last time I think it was like a few inches tall. And now, check it out. There's Jess out in it. As you can see, she's... Let me try and get the zoom to work here. She's about waist high, just about. Not too shabby. She's about four feet tall, so she's... The grain's pushing. <laughs> she's she's lying she's actually five foot one or something five foot two but uh, anyway uh, I would say it's getting up there I mean there's different all over eh? I mean right there she's thick she's tall she's probably I don't know 30 inches tall there's spots where it's probably only 20 inches tall but I would say the average is probably around the two foot mark now as you can see she's uh, already out in head so I might try and act or sound like I'm a, a knowledgeable person when it comes to this but I'm not uh, I'm learning like big time and I love learning this stuff learning the uh, like what you need in your soil soil testing and that that stuff uh, intrigues me and uh, learning about the grain and when's the best time to get your best quality off and everything anyway I believe this is what they call at the silk stage it's when it's still green and it's when the oats aren't dry or anything um, what did we say how many how many there's seeds milk, milk, stage. milk stage and then there's silk stage yeah, yeah, what did we say that there was per plant how many seeds I counted we counted 30 so if you guys know anything about farming let me know uh, we counted we did an average kind of thing and it was like 30 seeds per plant uh, that we got on the heads so let us know if that's good. I don't know anything about it, but anyway, yeah, um, that was just on one one stem. Yeah. Each stem, each plant. Yeah, each plant looked like like it was giving us. Yeah. So she's pretty decent. We got a live trap set here for uh, skunks and that. Neighbors are having issues with skunk problem, so we got that set. Haven't caught anything yet, but uh, we're trying. No, I don't. I there's not even really any bait in it, but. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. But, uh, yeah, so grain's turning out pretty good after all that big rain we had there at the beginning of the season, the day after we planted, blah, 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 blah. You guys heard all that. So we're pretty excited. The other field's doing uh, just as good. Uh, there is a bit of a bare spot there in it, but what can you do? So some of this is going to get combined, and then we'll bale up the straw and uh, either keep or sell the oats. And then we also have... Um, some of it that's going to get uh, cut uh, probably fairly soon actually for silage and baled up um, yeah for silage and I doubt we'll probably keep it my father-in-law will probably end up uh, getting it so but yeah anyway just give you guys a little update here it's a quick video battery's starting to die here so uh, once again make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and uh, Subscribe to the Dirty Old Channel. You know, just give us some support. But you don't have to. I mean, it's free. Why wouldn't you? But whatever. It is what it is. Be uh, be appreciated. And uh, feel free to share it. Share the video. Let your friends know. That uh, there's this guy out there on YouTube and making videos of a green field. But anyway, green field. Green field? Green field? Oof. But, uh, alright guys, well, till next time, we should have a video uh, coming out tomorrow, and uh, it's pretty good, pretty decent, so, alright guys, ciao.